Welcome back to Road to 56 as Arms. So where I left off, there's this bizarre interaction where the Germans are attacking these, some Norwegian exiles in Sweden. Even though both even though Sweden isn't involved in the war. Well, if they're willing to waste their time doing that, I am just going to let them. We have a full intelligence agency, which I'm immediately going to have stealing. Steal as much industrial knowledge as we can from the Germans. Need to upgrade these few. And cross. Ah, uh, yes. Means we have almost no escorts in the field right now, but. Getting there. We're also upgrading our air force. Rather, new planes. Basically, heavier bombs, heavier machine guns, better engines. It'll just make it so much easier for them. Also started looking at some um, supplying the war efforts out here. Which means I'm gonna put these right to the top. After I've after I build these factories in Northern Ar and roads in Northern Ireland. Really, I really want to get this because it means any close support plane, ones we have, will be ex even more agile. On the whole focus tree front, I'm focusing on our build building up the army right now. It's not the mo it's not the largest, but it'll do. Even better. So yeah, the reason why I always go with this integrated support is it buffs our soft attack and organization of support companies. This does that again as well. Now, just to reiterate, the support companies I tend to go with are support artillery, engineers, motorized recon. Motorized uh, recon in this mod tends to buff artillery as well because of research sniper teams. Our main industries also have these um, forest anti-air which further includes soft attack. But yeah, there's there's no real reason to not go with this. At least I can't think of one. Submarines. With these anti tank rifles. They pretty much fell out of favor towards the tail end of World War II. Mainly being used. I think some of them may have ended up being used as, say, shock and awe anti infantry weapons for long range work, but as a kind of precursor to the massive 50 cal sniper rifles that games do use. Ah, just a minor thing there. Minor tangent. I do them a lot. Perfect. Less submarines, less problems. Huh. They're actually pushing back without our extra supply networks. Oh well, I'll keep building them anyway because they're useful to have around. I might go for a military theorist now because, we're, well, possibly one of these guys.
or save up for this balanced approach for just for that extra stability. So the last episode, Finland fell to the fell to the Axis, which I suppose means we're probably not going to be going to war with the USSR. That's one less thing to worry about. Get this now. Field hospitals are. We don't have a lot of manpower. If I can call some of that back, like after a fight, I'm going to go for it. Oh, they're all targeting Leinster now. Oh, you poor sad fools. In the base game, the AI has an annoying tendency to try landing here in Wicklow, which is... which is all mountainous terrain, or in Dublin, which is a city. There are attack penalties there. In addition to naval landings having, a, having attack penalties, I'm gonna build a couple of naval bases here in Cork, just for the just so we have some extra leeway. They're not the most pressing things, but I want them. At, I do want them before some of all this stuff. Let's use this Navia. Columbia. I wonder if I should go with this refit yards now. Yeah, you know what? I think I will. Mainly because it gets them back out into the field quicker. Yeah, I know I only have two left to fit, refit, but... That's a surprise. Hmm, what do I go with? Social order is going to take a while. Go with this. It's... Or I could go with two of these. Infantry Specialist and Fleet Logistics. Games. As we're not at peace, we can't do this extra training exercise thing that three added. Yep, lost one of our older. This, I'm going to up some greater bases here to the stations to help with those, help with spotting planes. Spain has actually done surprisingly well. I'll give them some extra guns. They're probably not going to join the war either way because they'll be recovering from their civil war. But I guess we'll give them a little hand. Ooh. 
they're already pinned down. I bumped that up to max. And of course, now they're all surrounded. I can't help them. No one to pull them. It's dead. It makes her in Benghazi so that we can so we can counterattack later. This was a recurring thing in the North American, uh, the North African theater. Both sides kept outstripping their fuel supplies, logistics trains. Rommel was particularly bad at that. Trying to evade Malta, yep, sensible idea, because it's going to be a massive thorn in their sides. Ireland's because we're the back door. The Isle of Man, because they can probably try denying this area for us, but it doesn't seem to work out. Again, Hazy. Spare. I give some support anti air to the air to the guard of Waya just so that they can do some extra heart attack, air attack, air defense. Does use up some manpower, which we are short of. Not technically short of, but. So yeah, you can see they're all pulling back because they are very short of supply. Their nearest port is here, Tripoli. And I'm probably going to end up... Ooh. End up doing laser is building a port or two along here just to try and help this area. Two that aren't doing it. I need to the army. No, it does use up a factory for a bit, but that's nothing too severe. Subs. Those are good. The torpedo factory will focus exclusively on submarines. Long range raiding, no question about it. This fuel. Submarines. Or to get that, we he's mildly irritating, but then if I have to spare, I might as well go into capsule ships. It's not, it's not likely to happen, but hey. Also against Norwegian occupation. 
but Norway isn't occupying you, you idiots. We do not have the range to get into the North Atlantic Rift. Might be able to get into the Iberian coast. This time we start spreading. Brian and Ferdia will still stay on some piracy work. But I'll add the submarines onto a new. Grouping or there. Yeah. Well, he managed to damage some of their old destroyers. Old move by the Bulgarians. And we are going to need to start getting more steel up. Put them near the top because we're going to need we're going to need them, and they're not too quick. They're not too slow to build. So they can do any training exercise with these guys. Sort of manpower again. Of our conscription laws, but A, I don't have the power, and B, I don't really need it at the moment. Go with a the theorist. That's pretty much what I needed. Okay, it's not that useful to me right now because I don't have any tanks. So for the for this superior firepower doctrine tree, I almost invariably go down this side because this seems to be more aimed at people who have a lot of tanks. Luckily, we don't have any. Maybe I should start looking at that. Another now I'm gonna put this here. That's gonna be our immediate priority. Everything has to go into that because it's gonna make the difference here. Auction here, and it goes straight into these submarines instead. We're not doing a lot here other than just getting supplies moving. But hey, that's the most boring but practical thing we can do. Right. Answer or drill master? I think torpedo cooldown because they are always slow. Now, do I need a specialist? Maybe. Maybe. I might actually put these two on convoy rating as well. 
Just so we can get some extra XP for them. I do that. Gauge at low risk. Don't bother going up against capital ships. Gotta turn him into an advisor for his screens. Don't need specialist now. Plus, as he levels up, he's going he's going to his ability his impact. Authorization has been bypassed. I'm going to try establishing an armor core. Hmm. Let's see. Extra attack over rivers. You go with the extra engineers. Before I do anything else, these guys are chunky. I'm going to make sure they get back sooner. Yep. Some people will tell you that these are kind of useless, but the Arms Against Tyranny DLC changed um, field hospitals so that they buff the health of the hit points of, of infantry and motorized mechanized. But now they're actually kind of useful and they also help us preserve our fire, our manpower, which we never, we don't have a lot of. The mod does make it a little easier to get that well, with things like this. This total equality here. As far as social order goes, I'm considering going with um melting pot. Let's be the greater good. Because that'll give us extra recruitable population. That'll give us just extra population, which then feeds into recruitable population. Well, they don't have the power for it anyway, so I may as well just leave it now. Okay, good. Put you back on convoy, of course. Rude fire control. Not the most useful thing we could have got, but... I'll take it. Oh, now this is a nice little thing. Even if I'm not actually using motorized infantry, it means that motorized equipment, this, will be 5% cheaper. That's, always, that's definitely worth going for. And I can probably upgrade it even further. That's you. Tell me more. It's currently 2.37. Oh, what a surprise. Who could possibly have seen that coming? Oh, everyone.
we just use one of our ships? Crap. I think we may have lost one of our destroyers. Yeah. Finally got pissed off enough of this to send a single... ...to send off a few other destroyers and cruisers after us. Well, we've had our fun. Be a surprise that. Where's this war going? Okay, so the, the railway and extra ports are doing actually doing something useful there. They queue up a few extra for here for the long run. It just annoys me that they're that they're so disjointed. There's probably a reason for it. are just so yeah we could pull them up as well so jointed the way they're like this it's just probably the terrain it annoys me Main reason I'm building a railway all the way across here is the few games I've had that actually ended up helping a lot with when when we were helping to try to clean up some of the Vichy France colonies here. Again, I don't know if that'll actually happen, but this time around, but you never know. He starts splitting them into pairs. Or into single units just to try and cover as much area as I can. Oh shit, that's a big enemy fleet. Brits do have quite a lot of large ships coming to get some support, but. Still not something I want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Oh, this is going to be huge. Because we are short of steel. So, we lost four British destroyers, two Australian convoys, to eight destroyers. Eh, it's not a bad trade. Would be better. It's coming up. Yeah, nearly halfway to have that. So, just a little, little reminder where is it? The reason this class is close air support. It's because the first, the main armament is a clo close air support weapon. That means these planes are going to have some extra. These play boat types will have extra agility, and we want that. I'm not sure if that is actually the meta of the game, but. Motorized the army is complete, which means we're which means it went from 2.37 to 2.25. Means we can get trucks out quicker. What's not to like? 
to put 150 of these up. Be 50 of, of 50 of these. Any of our ships do anything? Well, we did a little bit of damage to some of them. Not much, but... Well, Chili wants some of these. We these are they're really contiguous networks because that builds up the infiltration just a just a lot quicker. Ooh. Of course. Ready. I have an all save. A couple of days. And I will probably call it Ah, speak of the devil. Oh, I'm gonna call it call this uh day for now. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.